Welcome back guys to Ho Hin. Absolutely beautiful. Can't believe I'm back here again. Fantastic. Good to see you back on the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. This channel is all about retirement in Thailand and Ho Hin in particular. Check out this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Just lovely now. Down up by the Chinese temple here now. Just overlooking the bay. It's absolutely beautiful. Early morning, so not that many people around. But yesterday the beach is absolutely heaving. Have any of you been here in the high season? You know, it's really, really busy during December, January, and the water's super clear. Super nice little area. This is uh, by the Hilton Hotel here, right up by the Chinese temple up the far side. And we're gonna have a look along this beach today. And maybe I'll put my toes in the water in a little bit, guys. So let's walk along and have a look. It's nice early morning, so it's not too hot. There's already people swimming in the ocean. I can't believe it, you know? Probably about 28 degrees. I don't know where you are in the world, guys, but maybe you're at work. Maybe you're at home watching this now, but you need to get your ass to Thailand ASAP. It's a beautiful location here. Even if you can't make it to retire, guys, you know, try and come over here for a holiday at least once in your life or a few times in your life if you can i think if you come once you'll be in love with thailand and you won't be able to leave again guys oh hang on i need to take my shoes off i need to take my uh, flip-flops off guys hang on yeah that's better right let's have a walk along this beach check out some of the ocean here look people are already swimming it's like really early in the morning surprises and the water's super clear today. Can you see on the camera? It is super clear because it's not, it's not crystal clear in Hua Hin sometimes of year. But this time of year, it's super clear. So as you see here, there's all deck chairs for sale here. I'm going to duck under the sunbeds again. So you can get these deck chairs for sale and get food here. Hello, morning. Uh, not today, thanks. A bit. I'm going to go for a walk first. Okay. How much are these? 100 baht for one. Oh, okay. 100 baht for one, guys, these are. Hello. hello. Most of my viewers from England, say hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back later. No worries. Whoa, I lost my hat again. Number 21. Number 21, okay, okay. Let's take a walk along here. Absolutely fantastic. Cheers. Guys are super friendly. Yeah, of course, they're trying to make money, but, you know, so they're going to be a bit friendlier than usual for sure. But, oh, look at these chairs they're already in the water. Look, check them out. So I'd be a bit careful where I point the camera. I don't want to point it in people's faces, you know. Especially people in the bikinis on the beach, you know. I don't think they appreciate being filmed, if you know what I mean. Right, let's carry on walking along. You say there's deck chairs all the way along this beach. I'll get a bit of a move on, so we'll crack on a bit. I say this beach goes on for miles and miles. It goes all the way up to Khao Tibiak, Monkey Mountain, which is, oh, it's probably five, six kilometers, maybe more actually, maybe seven kilometers. Proper long way all the way up. But most of the sunbeds are down this end. So all of them are kind of here and they stop where the horses start. Why is there no horses there? I'll show you on the camera now. The horses are usually here, but they're actually further up there, guys. So we'll go and take a walk up and have a look. So this is probably the main entrance when you come into Hoi Hin. Down to the beach. The main beach is down this way, really. Most people come down this way, not via where I just came through the Chinese temple. Check it out now. Horses up here, absolutely awesome, fantastic. We'll catch him up. I get a run on and try to catch him up a bit, eh? I'll lose my hat. Oh god, there's a girl topless there. I said in another video, you should be should some big topless in Thailand. And uh, I think it was on a TikTok video and all oh, people don't listen. It's really kind of not a good thing here in Thailand, you know. Uh, maybe good for me walking along the beach, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. For Thai people, it's not a good thing. Hang on, let me put my shoes back on. My hat's gonna fall off again, like I did in another video. Jesus, oh man. Right, I'm better not point the camera that way, guys. Well, maybe if you accidentally see it, sorry. She's actually on the front, so it's okay. Oh, is a horse coming past now. These horses, I don't know how much they cost. I think it's 100 baht or so, it depends. Uh, and they can ride them along the beach. Absolutely fantastic, look. Go tourists. These are ties actually, riding the horse. Pick the riding the horse. Probably 100, 200 baht, depends. Your bargaining skills. I think we paid before about 150 months in Chiam. I think here was a bit more than Chiam, which is the other local beach resort. 
uh, a little bit further on. And now we've come to, if you look here, this is Centara Grand, fantastic five-star resort on a Hawaiian beach as you walk along it. It's a mm, beautiful resort. We stayed there about a year ago during the big sea, and it was, no, a couple of years ago during the big sea. And we got it really, really cheap because my missus get good deals on hotels at times. Uh, so we got a fantastic deal and it was cheap for the hotel at that time. You know, normally it's very, very expensive. Uh, but it's super nice hotel to stay in. It's absolutely fantastic. Five star resort. Now this is like the second kind of big resort along the front. Like the Hilton we just went past and then this one now is Centara Grand. And selling beers on the beach as usual. So a few of these, uh, oh look at the horse coming now, cool. Awesome. Oh, no. For the gap. <laughs> hey, look at this one. Big tree down here. Check that horse out going down there. Woo! Gotta love it man, it gives the it gives the whole beach a bit of atmosphere I think. And check out here we got tree down, man down. Enjoy if you're sitting there in your office now or at home. Enjoy the the, the nice scenery. I'll try and keep the camera steady. Sometimes you're walking really fast, it goes a bit wobbly. Tell us in the comments guys if you've been to this beach visited here what memories you got from here this beach or if you visit any other beach in Hawaii and on other videos I've shown some other beaches around Waihe and this is kind of the, the main beach we booked a hotel in a couple of weeks right up near Kautibiak near Tamarin Market uh, so I'll show you that you know maybe two or three weeks look out for that video so uh, I think condo stroke apartment I think apartment uh, condo actually uh, but we'll check that out in a few weeks. The horse is coming now, check them out. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Only on Huohim Beach, guys. Hope this brings back good memories of you. Hope this brings back good memories from when you've been in Hua Hin or gives you some idea about you know what it's like to come here as a tourist or come here as an expat I mean this is just one element to it you know and it you know it definitely does look clearer the water does and more beautiful this time of year you know I've been around this down this beach on every single month of the year and you know it does vary immensely the clearness of the water during like wet season when the you know the storms are in even down in Phuket when it's raining a lot, the storms are in, you know, the water's not that clear, you know, it does fuzzle up, all the sand bubbles up, and, you know, the water's not clear, but this time of year, it's absolutely beautiful. That's why, you know, a lot of people like to come at this time of year, because the ocean's so clear. Just following this old guy. <laughs> not me, another old guy. <laughs> Let me check the camera still on, yeah. Like, normally I walk, I not, sometimes I've been along this beach, and you know do about run right up to monkey mountain at the other end but it, it is a fair old run actually uh, to go all the way to monkey mountain it's a fair old joint pretty tiring to be honest to go all the way up there normally to get up there then you can't be asked to come all the way back again all jellyfish yeah really. these are on Waihin beach a bit you do get these quite a bit Can you see it so they're all over Waihin these are you just don't step on them, you know. I, I've never stepped on one myself, you know. Uh, my lad got stung in the other bay, actually, by one. And one of my mates got stung, but it's nothing very serious, you know. It's jellyfish. Not not, not like Australia, if you're from Australia, you know. Nothing like that. Uh, so a bit of a sting. You don't even have to go to hospital. So just if you're coming along the beach, just make sure you're not. You're looking out for them a bit sometimes. They do get washed in a bit. I never stood on one myself when I've been here, coming here 15 years, so I wouldn't worry too much. Listen to them ocean guys. Listen to the water, man. It's so nice. wish you were here guys maybe sooner maybe soon you're coming here again another month or two 
let's get out into the water a little bit. But not too deep because then I've got my swimming trunks on. I don't want to get my wallet all wet. Oh god, that's good. Okay, I just come up to another resort here. Check this one out. This is Cape Nidra Hotel. That's this one here. So another resort. I said there's resorts all along this beach. Lots of different ones. Let's take your pick if you want to stay beachfront. Obviously price dependent. Nice tattoo. <laughs> Great tattoo. I'm not really a big fan of tattoos personally, but I'm from the UK and I was born in an era where if you have a tattoo, you're a criminal. But obviously times have changed since then. Because <laughs> literally everyone has tattoos nowadays. But I haven't, I never had one. I never fancied it to be honest. I think about that generation where I kind of just missed out. Someone's right out there swimming in the ocean. That's like my mate. One of my mates lives here and he just swims out in the ocean all the time. He's, he's the one who's got stung by a jellyfish once. <laughs> but not surprising, he's, he's, uh, he's always swimming in the ocean when he's in Thailand. Uh, check out some more horses up here. And here's another resort, this one. Big Fish. Oh, I don't know if it is a resort. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, this is the Marriott, yeah. Big Fish Bar and Seafood and Grill. And this one here, I know, is the Marriott. But you can obviously get to it from the roadside as well. It's another beachfront one. Lovely, actually. But, you know, five-star resort. So five-star prices, obviously, depending on your budget. And they got the horses out there ready for... The rich foreigners coming over here, I reckon. <laughs> Who want to ride the horses. I can understand why Forbes voted this third best place to retire to. You know, in 2024, you know, it's got a hell of a lot going for it as a city or town, however you want to call it. You know, it's got a lot going for it. Yeah, it's got a massive tourist scene. Of course it has, like, you know, you've seen on the beach here today, you know, there's tourists absolutely everywhere. It's like 9.30 in the morning, guys, and it's pretty freaking busy. And look at all the people in the sea over there. Can you see them all? Well, probably 100 people in the sea. It's like only 9.30 in the morning, you know? A pad of water out there. I don't see many canoes actually here, out in here. I don't know, is there any canoeing goes on out here? I don't think so. so okay guys, I hope you enjoyed our little walk along Huahin Beach in Thailand. Don't forget to support the channel guys. Press that red button, bang, bang, bang. Okay, until next time from Huahin, see you later guys.